exited the European Union, have we? Tony on what Tony got? This is between Steve and Tony. And Tony thinks that Steve is right wing, and oh. Steve is defending why he thinks he isn't. So, oh, Steve is right wing. Eventually, I wanted these two to talk to each other, and that's what we've done. No doubt, Steve is a right wing. Yes, it's a good, good conversation. Really. He's a UKIP. We're having a good conversation. Other countries that have. There's not only enough of hearing about them, we're far from the only country with empires. Do they not teach their children in schools to be proud of their empires? I don't understand. Honestly, I've got such a problem with the way the British do that I've not even looked at that. Well, you got a point. You know what I mean? Because because the, the British uh, just also, also, on this country and further the, British, the British were no, yes, of course, but once again, because other countries yes, teach their yeah, children yeah, to be proud right, of no, their history. Look, listen to and me you now. want to do the listen reverse. To you yeah, want to do the reverse. Yes, I do. Listen now, this bad. is why you're right on it. <laughs> no, this is why you're right. No, no doubt about that. You no need to emphasize. <laughs> <laughs> but hear what I'm saying, you know, grab hold of it and get your right wing. Because that is the that's the essence of right wing. Is never mind what we did, other countries did it, therefore no, not therefore. You come around. You come around with your photo book of history, yeah. and you're really proud of your history. I can't be doing it. Are you filming all this? You're going to edit it, aren't you? And I'm going to look like a right fucking turkey. No, you never look like that, Tony. No, no, actually, no, no. no actually, we're going to do what we did before, which is Tony's voice will be taken by an actor. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the IRA. Yeah. Like the IRA. <laughs> like the IRA. But, but uh, Jerry's voice will be taken oh, by an actor. Being know. proud of your what nation what to me doesn't, doesn't make you right wing with it. What a world that was. Be, you can be surely Tony Benn. I can't ben. believe I lived in a world where Tony Benn, someone that was very proud of Britain Look, and its I, history. I have Britain very, as well. If you've listened to me, Mark, you know that I've got various... Um, 
various people that I look up to and that are, I'm on it all. You know, and very, very quickly, <laughs> it, I run out of English role models. So first, so there's a, there's a, I think it's Sinclair, is a writer, popular writer, Sinclair. He does a thing about London. Two things he doesn't mention are Speaker's Corner and Joseph Gamal. Right? Now, right, now there's two things I spent my life, you know, um, celebrating. Right. So all he's got for Joseph Grimaldi is he he's died. The clown. He, is, yes. All he's got for Joseph Grimaldi is that um, he died oh, you, drunk and, nice and, you. Could, and nice you. drunk. He couldn't stand because he was so drunk. Wrong. He was crippled because he'd been an acrobat. Yes. Right. And he stopped drinking way before he drank. He drank very. Uh, measured in his, in his older years, so, but he did spend a lot of time in the pub because that's where he met his friends and they all came to see him. But, but that, that guy seems to know nothing. Right? So, from the so, so, someone so, so the way, you know, Speaker's Corner was, uh, you know, <laughs> the people that started Speaker's Corner, there's a guy, there's a, there's a black uh, guy from St. Kitts called He's fighting for our faces. Guys, I'm talking 7, 1790 now, right? Who was, who was there? Who ended up being one of the... St. Kitts must have looked like something then in 1790. Yeah, but this guy ended up being... De- he, was, he ended up being part of the... Um, being a traveller in the Caribbean. Right, right. Right. So from a, the political sphere, who, yeah. would, you, who would you give an example well, of heroes it, but, but but I'm an artist, I'm right? I'm my main, my religion's art, right? So I'm, you know, and, so I'm stand-up comedy. And so, so many, There's another subject. What, what do you think of modern, current stand-up comedy? Well, it's well, not what read, it used to be, Read what I write. Well, I haven't. You've got to see... All right, then, you won't like it, but... Anybody who's interested in stand-up comedy at the moment has to see Content Provider by Stuart Lee. It's a two-hour, oh, it's Lee, a yeah. two-hour piece, and it is it's the best comedy. Oh, it is fucking brilliant. I can, and I can now I am a, I'm, I'm a, I know him. I'm not a friend of his, but I know him. And I know him well. He actually sells this. Uh, uh, is I, I would he go, still doing stuff? Yeah, he's doing a good job. I've got him to do a good job in years' time. Um, I've got, uh, I would yeah, say right. for Dylan Moran. What movie are you in today? You're so unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's I a guy called, you ask me who's down at comedy now, there's shit. Dylan Moran. No, that wasn't my question. No, but my you're always like, what is my assessment of that general standard quality of stand-up comedy this day? Because it's crap in my entire And a lot of that is left wing. Left wing with just tired cliches. You like some bums being reeled out that might have been I did. I love standard hey, comedy in the 80s and the 90s. Look, and it's it's I love it. And that's why I'm so disappointed now. Well, no, Maybe my politics have changed. Comedians, you're getting very that. Comedians, you're getting that. Yeah, you've got two things on the. I told you you had to put an extra He's not a racist. I think that's true. I I Drama. Do you know the and then I thought, oh, it'll be nice to come here with a drama and just talk. Yeah, because it'll be boring. Yeah, yeah, because it'll be boring. 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 Oh, oh. Oh, right. No, 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 he did, he did, he did, because uh, the police went around his house. Oh, look who's there, I know who this is now, right? Yeah, you okay. You're too cool yeah. for our group, yeah. have fun with you. You might have a record, you might be on camera or not. 
It's a joke, it's holding. Um, and over half the people. You know what I know? Yeah. Yeah. I've all got this little, little, little sort of, um, I know. Uh, no, they just had to be under the table. As long as it's not over for me, I don't know. It's a troll, 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 it's a
So go on, share. The Jamaican yeah, Starnies yeah, over there. Share your story. But you got a call. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been calling yeah, 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 yeah. They said you left. Over the last year. I did. I but she said, I'm going to get you. I'm going to mute you now. I'm trying to force me so out I left. But the thing is, as I left, um, she went. Putting my address on there. Yeah, apologize. Yeah. You name it. You left a bad taste in this. Just because I speak about certain things like. Because I didn't want to let them get away with their bullshit. I'm going to start doing shows. That's been affected by grooming as well. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. So it's not just the white community. For 40 years, the grooming epidemic was with the Sikhs first. So since the 80s, no, no, I'm talking about within, the, within a, 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 spare of, a spare of time where the Asians come down in the 70s and 80s. Obviously, grooming didn't start when we came down, but I'm talking about within the last 40 years, not the last You've got to be in the same, you've all got the same narrative. What I've been saying to the two... To see only as a Muslim phenomenon is not to understand it on any, any scale. I mean, clearly, it's, it's bad in this country now with, with uh, people who are Muslim. Well, from a Sikh perspective, it is a Muslim issue. Because out of the perpetrators, whenever the, whenever the cases are going, whenever we're trying to find out who is doing the, the grooming through the SAS and the CQ for UK, 90, 90, 95% of the groomers. Yeah. are from a Muslim or Pakistani background. So I don't know about the whole of the, the world, but in terms of attacking the Sikhs, it is definitely an Asian Muslim grooming gang epidemic with the Sikh community. There's no doubt about it. And I've had one of my own relatives, which is why I'm so vocal about it. You just pissed me off just by you standing there. Um, no, you're, you you and your panel are complete freaks on the rest of the No, 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 I'm just saying the whole of you are one of the worst panels I've ever met. And as a collective, this is not the problem. Late, not right now, because I'm not in the mood. It'll be later on when it calms down a bit. Obviously, when I first come in, I'm a little bit prickly. If you want a good conversation, then I'll be late. There's no conversation, I want to say. Tell her I'll send my condolences. Tell her I'll send my condolences. I know, but tell her I'll send my condolences. I'm not, I'm just saying. Why would you go from a Ferrari to a Ford Fortuna? Well, what's the case? You're a downgrade. That's the case. I mean, there's a case for no sound. And you wonder why I don't like you? No sound. Well, obviously, you're coming over. Over to say that to be a little prick. Oh, so you're coming over just to talk about that? Just to show you. Oh yeah, what? Show me what? Show me what? But like, you could have just said, I know somebody who was see that convert, but that had to be my my sister in law. Come on, man. Stop your tequila bullshit. Yeah, you're on the right path. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you're not a prick. Sufism is a real Islam. I agree with you. The only Islam. So if you're Sufi, you've already got a tick on my box. But that doesn't mean you're a prick. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, why don't you start converting people then? I don't believe in converting people. Oh my god, this is the problem with Sufis. You convert people and you're savvy. We came here, there was only one. If everyone was Sufis, we wouldn't have problems. And Ali, that's all that was here. Would we? Think about it. Not as much, it'd be very minimal. I see beauty in different. It's going to have a choir and there's only going to be two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never. Well, so I love like Guru Nanak's yeah, yeah. way. I love it, bro. Yeah, because Guru Nanak respected the Sufis. There's a lot of Sufi saints. I'm respecting him, bro. Okay. okay. So I've always said Sufism is the real Islam, but there's not enough Sufis. Man. I've only met a handful, uh, and they're we, always we ostracized to, as well. We ought to be able to talk to each other. When someone says they're a Sufi, they're not ostracized here. Well, you know, I'm not ostracized here. Yeah, yeah but stop being a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew Walking around when I'm being taken out of the park. Rah, 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 rah. And then when Callum's there, you're like. I've got an image in it. I've got an image. I'm the trash man of the park. Yeah, but no, no, but if you've got an image in the park here, then I'm going to treat you as that image. Not as a person you're talking now. I'm going to remember the face or remember the day when I walk. Every face I remember that day when I walk out, I'm a bit off with them. Yeah, I remember their faces. It all makes sense now. Yeah, because I looked around and you was barking. Oh, is that recording? Oh my god, we're going to stop talking because I didn't realise that. This guy's clever, man. He, he just starts recording all over the place. Come 
man say it straight. Man don't listen to BBC. Man don't listen to ITV. Free. So I, that's listen. why I asked you first. How do you judge a person? But the thing is for me, do you like judge a person like, first on their morals? Just give me like robot. I think that in, in, in the black community, yeah, in the black community, we have a, there's a quite a lot of unemployment in America, yeah. And then now, now, now Trump has reduced the black unemployment. I, I believe it's. I, I don't think. Yeah, by putting them in jail. Yes. Sorry. By putting them in jail. By giving them more prisons. Building more prisons. Building more prisons. So you can increase jobs. So one second, but I'm not black. I'm not talk black. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk 